Welcome to Two on One, where I spend two minutes on one thing that stood out to me from last night's NHL action. My name is Clay Emo, I'm at Connect Clay on Twitter. As always, this is my take, all in one take. What stood out to me was the fact that there were two shutouts in last night's games. Boston beat Montreal 4-0, that shutout went to Yurisav Halak, and then Columbus beat the Vegas Golden Knights 1-0, and that is Sergei Borowski. And what's, these stood out to me because I couldn't remember another game, another night where there were two shutouts in the NHL, and you have to go back to December the 2nd, so over two weeks ago. And I say this because I don't recall, I don't remember a lot of shutouts this season, especially as I talk about how scoring is up and so on and so forth. So then I looked it up, and Marc-Andre Fleury has accumulated a, a league-leading five shutouts, and I'd say those are relatively quiet five shutouts, given Vegas hasn't rocketed to the top of the standings, but five shutouts is obviously very good. And three guys tied to three, Keith Kincaid of the Jersey, uh, New Jersey Devils, you have Halak, and you have Koskinen out of Edmonton, also with three. So Flurry of five, three guys with three. Extrapolate that out, Flurry could finish with between 11 and 12 shutouts, which would be the highest since in a decade, and then actually the highest in more than that probably. And then the other guys could finish with seven or eight shutouts if you extrapolate those numbers. So then I looked at the numbers, the league leaders in shutouts for the past 10 seasons. You have last year's Vasilevsky and Rene, they had eight each. 2016-17, it was Holtby with nine. In 15-16, it was Corey Crawford with seven. 14-15, it was Marc-Andre Fleury, then playing with Pittsburgh with 10. 13-14, it was Tuka Rask with seven. 11-12, it was Jonathan Quick with 10. 10-11, it was Henrik Lundqvist with 11, the highest we've seen in a while. Um, then the year before that, 9-10, it was Martin Brodeur. Remember that guy? He had nine. And then 2008-2009 was Steve Mason with Columbus, and he had 10. So the league lead ranges from seven up to 11. Lundqvist having the high watermark at 11 shutouts in 2010, 2011. So could Fleury get there? Perhaps he's on pace for 11 or 12. I also see someone like Vasilevsky or someone like Halleback, Connor Halleback from the Jets, them coming up and maybe challenging for the shutout lead by the time the season ends because of how strong their teams are. So hockey fans, what do you think? Who do you think is gonna win You know the shutout race this year? Will Fleury hang on or will someone else Come up, I'd love to read your comments below. I'd love to read, react, and reply as always. Subscribe if you'd like to, like this video if you'd like to. I'm Canuck Clay, and this has been Two on One. God bless.